Okay, here's our core concept. We are graphing inequalities with two variables. Okay, the first step when we graph these is we need to graph the boundary line. Um, we're going to be given an inequality. We're going to use the dashed line if it's not, or equal to, if it's not equal to, but it's going to be a solid line if there's a little bar underneath, if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. That's very important to remember. The solid line, we include all the points on that line in our solution. But the dashed line, the points on the line are not included in our solution. Step two, we're going to test a point that's not on the boundary line. Okay, The point we're usually always going to use here is 0, 0. But 0, 0 cannot be on the boundary line. So if it is on the boundary line, we might use something simple like 1, 1. Okay. Now step three, when the test point is a solution, okay, if 0, 0 makes that inequality true, we're going to shade towards the origin, point zero zero. But if it's not true, if it's not a solution, we're going to shade away from the point zero zero. Example, we need to graph just y is less than or equal to 2. Okay, we remember when we saw y is equal to 2, we knew that was a horizontal line that passes through the y-axis at 2. Now the other thing to make sure we know, it's or equal to, so it's got to be a solid line through 2 on the y-axis. Okay, solid line, because it's or equal to. Now, our test point, we said we were going to use 0, 0. Let's use the coordinate, or the y-coordinate, 0. Okay, and that's right here. The y-axis at 0. If we plug it in, see if that's true. Is y less than or equal to 2? Yeah, that's true. So we're going to shade towards that point. Okay, in general, we can also say that if we have a less than sign, we're going to shade below the line. Greater than sign, we're going to shade above it. Okay, let's look at this graph here. We need to graph this inequality, but we can't yet. Okay, we can't because it's not in slope-intercept form. So we're going to need to do some rearranging here. Let's move our x first. Let's move our x. So we're left with 2y greater than, let's write our x first. So it's closer to slope-intercept form, x plus 2. Okay, we're not quite done. we got to get the y all by itself. So let's divide everything. Don't forget to divide everything by 2. So now we're left with y is greater than... Oh, well, we know there's a little imaginary 1 before that x, so 1 half x, 1 half is our slope, plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, we have it in slope-intercept form, let's graph it. Our y-intercept is 1, so plot a point at 1. Our slope is 1 half, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2. We know we can also go down 1, left 2, down 1, left 2. Since it's not equal to, we're going to do a dotted line, a dashed line, through those points. That means that the points on that line are not included in the solution. Okay, our, our last step, let's use our test point. We said our test point is 0, 0. So when we plug that in for x and y, we're going to plug in the origin. Okay, that origin is right here. Okay, this is our origin, 0, 0. So let's plug in 0 for y. 0 is less than 1 half. Plug in 0 for x plus 1 and solve it. we got to see if this is a solution. Is 0 greater than, well, 1 half times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Is 0 greater than 1? No, that's not true. So it's not a solution. So we're going to shade away from our test point. If it was a solution, if that was true, we'd shade towards the origin. But since it's not, we're shading away from it. Okay, and also in general we said when we have y on the left side of our equation, if we have a greater than sign, we're going to shade above our boundary line. If it was a less than, we're going to shade below. We've got to keep in mind that that y needs to be on the left side of our inequality, though, for that to work. Okay, so all the points above that dotted line make that inequality true. We could plug in any point in the shaded area, and that would make that a true inequality.